soy Claudia, en septiembre empiezo clases en Colombia y tengo una beca de 81 mil dólares que cubre todo mi costo de pensión y vivienda en Nueva York. That was Claudia, and we helped her get a full ride scholarship to Colombia. Today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to be like Claudia and get a full ride scholarship. But I have to warn you, it is not easy. If that makes you want to stop watching this video, then you probably aren't the kind of person who's going to get a full ride scholarship anywhere. It takes work dedication and persistence. We're going to take a look at your college list, your academics, your extracurriculars and timing to help you figure out the best way to get a full ride scholarship. Let's just get into it. The college list. Obviously, if you want a full ride scholarship, you need to apply to universities that can give you a full ride scholarship. Not every university does this. How do you know which universities give full ride scholarships and which ones don't? You need to look for universities that promise to give you 100% of demonstrated need. And I'm going to put their names up here while I explain this. Demonstrated need is what comes out of your financial forms like the FAFSA or CSS profile. In those documents, you're going to explain how much money your family can afford to pay every year for college. And then you're going to explain how much money you need to get into those universities when you apply. So the demonstrated need is the difference between the total cost of attendance and the amount of money your parents or family can put in. Not every university meets 100% of demonstrated need for international students. Some of them only do this for American citizens. How do you know the difference? Well, keep an eye out for which forms they ask you to use. If they only request the FAFSA form, that's a form for American nationals or residents. So they're probably not going to meet 100% of demonstrated need for internationals. But if they ask for the CSS profile, that is a form used by international students, which is a good sign that they will meet full need for international students. Build your college list around these universities. But here's the thing. Everybody wants free shit. Nobody wants to pay for anything. So there's a ton of people applying to these universities because they meet 100% of demonstrated need. That means you're going to need a really good profile and it starts with your academics. You need a near perfect GPA and you better have a test score and it better be a good one because most of these competitive universities, even though they're test optional, are still giving preference to students who take the SAT or ACT or even both. You lied to me. Test optional full rides are like extremely rare. You're going to kill your chances if you don't bring a test score. And that means you got to be prepared to study your ass off. But okay, you got a perfect GPA, you got a perfect SAT score. You should be in, right? Not so fast. Even perfect academics is not enough to guarantee a full ride scholarship. You need something extra, extra stuff, extracurricular stuff. You need extracurriculars. The Common App gives you 10 spaces to put extracurricular activities and you'd better fill out every single one of them. You don't have to cure 10 different kinds of cancer. Just one or two would be good. But in all seriousness, you really need three or four activities that you've been doing for at least a couple of years. And ideally they should be in different areas. So maybe you have one academic activity like Model United Nations that you've been doing for a few years. You have an athletic activity, a sport that you play on that you've been doing for a few years. You also have volunteer work or maybe some artistic abilities as well. From there, you can fill out the rest with hobbies that you do, activities that were maybe short term for like six months or a year, or even family responsibilities. If you have to take care of a parent or grandparent or a little brother, a little sister, that counts. Make sure you include that stuff too. After you list those activities, you need to write a description for each one of them. And I cannot stress this enough. You need to write this correctly. Focus on the responsibility you had and the achievements you got. For instance, here's a bad description for a volunteer firefighter. Even though I'm constantly surrounded by flames and threats to my life, I find myself inspired by the tears of joy that stream from mother's faces when they're reunited with their pets and children, which are almost like pets. I'm so glad that every day I'm saving lives. Here's a better way to do it. Volunteered at the local fire department three days a week after school. I checked equipment and prepared meals for the firefighters. Trained for three months, then helped respond to calls by hooking up fire trucks to fire hydrants and running gear to the rest of the team. Also organized fundraisers and events within the local community and coordinated a fire safety awareness conference at my school. 
Don't talk about your feelings. Don't try to make it sound more important or dramatic than it was. Just focus strictly on what you did. That is a professional way to fill out your application. And these universities want to see professional students. They want to see that you're mature. You're not trying to impress people for points. You're trying to show them exactly how you did things. That's what they care about. If you've got solid academics, a bunch of extracurriculars, and you've got a college list full of universities that will meet 100% of demonstrated need, what's next? Apply early. If you apply early decision, you greatly increase your chances. But not every university has early decision, so what do you do then? Apply early action wherever possible. If a university has an early deadline, make sure that you apply by that deadline, and if you can, even before it is better. Same rules for regular decision. If a university only has one deadline, you want to apply as early as you possibly can. Do you want to be the only application in the inbox on a certain day? Or do you want to be one of thousands of applications that come into that inbox? Like applying super early literally separates you from thousands of other people. It's the one thing you can do that will make your application stand out far more than any extracurricular or any academic achievement. Unfortunately, most people don't do that. Most people wait until the very last minute because they're writing their essays at the last minute or because they're trying to make last minute adjustments to their application and they're stressing out on application deadlines. These people make a huge mistake by waiting until the last minute. Timing is everything, people. If you can get your application in early, you have a much greater chance of getting in with a full ride scholarship. But if you apply last minute or even worse, late, forget about it. I hope this video didn't discourage you. I, on the contrary, the point of this video was to inspire you to understand that it is possible to get a full ride scholarship. Claudia is an inspiration to me. When I see people like her that work super hard and get what they deserve, it makes me want to continue working hard for SCORE because I know we can help more people get there. But at the end of the day, you have to put in the work. I can't make you get a full ride scholarship. No college counseling company can do that. If anyone promises you a full ride scholarship, they're lying. You have to be willing to put in the work. But if you are, if you believe you can put in that work and you can obtain those results and you can get done early, you have a good chance. I'm extremely happy to be able to say that SCORE has helped multiple people get multiple full ride scholarships in multiple countries. But we didn't do it. They did. But I think you should hear that from Claudia herself, which is why in September I'm going to be going to the United States to the University of Columbia to see Claudia before she starts her classes there. And I want you to hear how she got her full ride scholarship and how she got in so that maybe you can do it too. Until I go there, thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. It means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. You're helping this channel grow. And so you are already a huge piece in our success. Thank you so much. I will see you next week.